Hello everyone, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about the variation of G with latitude. Latitude means due to the uh, rotation of the earth, what are the changes in the G? So, this is the earth and this is the horizontal axis and this is the vertical axis. Earth is rotating like this. And this is equator and this is the pole of the earth and here the latitude is considered as 0 degrees and at poles the latitude angle is considered as 90 degrees. So here I am considering a mass on the surface of the earth. See, latitude 0 degrees in the sense, here it is 0. If we consider an angle here, it will be more than 0 and less than 90. So, the angle changes according to the position of the mass. So, at this place, I am considering a mass. And so, axis of this mass particle is, this is the axis of rotation of mass particle. If, a, if you consider a particle exactly at equator, this will be the axis of rotation of the particle, mass particle. So here, this mass particle will rotate in this axis. And now, if you consider, so this is the radius for this mass particle, let me consider as small r. And this is the center of the earth. So center of the earth to the mass particle. This is the actual radius of the earth. So that is capital R. And here this is making an angle theta. With the equator. This is making an angle theta. And here a force is acting on the mass particle. What force will act on the mass particle when the earth is having a rotation? A centrifugal force. Centrifugal force will act on the mass particle. The centrifugal force acting on the mass particle is mR omega square. As the earth is having angular velocity uh, during the rotation, uh, it is the force acting on the mass particle is centrifugal force that is mR omega square and what is the angular velocity of the earth 360 into 24 hours will we'll get the angular rotation of the or angular velocity of the earth and now see here this angle is theta as this line and this line are parallel this angle also will be theta. So this is also theta. So now this is a triangle according to this we can write small r equal to r cos theta. Small r equal to capital R cos theta. And now a force will act radially inward. A force will act radially inward. That uh, radially inward force is mg. As the mass particle is having a mass and gravity is acting inward, mg is acting inward. So what is the outward force acting on the mass particle? So the outward force, outward force acting on the mass particle will be due to the rotation of the earth. So that is mR omega square cos theta. Angle also we have to consider now. Here the angle is 0 and the particle is up, moved up to some axis or, or, or it is at some angle. So, mR omega square cos theta is the force acting on the particle. So, that force, what is the force? We have to find. And here, on the surface of the earth, inward force is mg. On the surface, it is uh, having some g dash. Let us consider that as g dash. And now let us find the force acting on the mass which is located here. So for that 
एम जी डैश इक्वल टू दट इनवर्ड फोर्स इज एम जी नो एम जी दिस विल बी मोर माइनस एम आर ओमेगा स्क्वेर का and mg dash equal to if you take m common here g minus r omega square cos theta and if you cancel this m and m g dash equal to g minus instead of this small r replace this r cos theta so we'll get r omega square cos square theta so g dash equal to g minus R omega square cos square theta. That means due to the rotation of the earth, this is the force acting on the mass. So at poles, at pole, if the mass particle is at pole, uh, what is the force acting due to the effect of rotation? Let us see. At poles, at pole, uh, angle is ninety degree now. So we will get. G dash equal to G minus R omega square and uh, cos ninety means value zero, so this whole term will become zero. So at poles G dash will be equal to Z. That means no effect of rotation. There is no effect of rotation at poles. At poles. The effect of rotation is nothing. And next, if you consider the at equator, at equator, what would be the effect? At equator, uh, theta equal to zero degree, no, zero degree. So if you place that g dash equal to g minus uh, r omega square cos theta, cos zero value one. So we will get r omega square. So at equator, the effect of rotation will be maximum. Effect of rotation will be maximum, and g will be minimum here. Here the effect of rotation is minimum, and g is maximum here. Effect of rotation here minimum, g will be maximum, and here. Effect of rotation is maximum, and g is minimum here. So that is the difference between equator and pole due to the rotation of the earth. And in previous classes we have discussed that uh, the variation of g with altitude. That means if the height increases also, the g value will decrease. And in next section we have discussed about the Depth. If the depth increases, also the g value decreases. And coming to the latitude, also latitude also uh, due to the rotation of the earth, the g value decreases. And uh, fourth factor is the variation of g according to the shape of the earth. Due to the shape of the earth, also the g value varies. See if you consider the earth. As a sphere, uh, but actually the Earth is not a complete sphere. This is a horizontal and this is vertical. If you consider, it is a little looks like a bulged one. Bulged. So that means here this radius will be decreased. This arc will be decreased. That means radius. Of equator is greater than a radius of pole. Radius of pole is less than radius of the equator. So due to that, the force will be maximum at poles. So uh, gravitational force at equator and gravitational force at poles, the poles will be maximum. As the radius is in, uh, greater at the uh, equator, the gravitational force is greater at poles. As uh, these two are inversely proportional, g equal to g m by r square. Now, so as these two are inversely proportional, so the at poles the gravity will be more. 
and coming to one more factor variation of g according to the local conditions see according to the local conditions also the g value varies the g value will be maximum at mineral deposits wherever there are some mineral deposits at that place or at that location the g value slightly increases and wherever there is no mineral deposits at that place the g value slightly decreases so in this way uh, the g value varies according to the local conditions also so the g value varies in many ways as the altitude increases g value decreases as the depth increases also g value decreases uh, due to the rotation of the earth also the g value varies from equator to pole and the g value depends upon the uh, shape of the earth also due to the shape of the earth also the g value varies and the g value varies according to this local conditions also at mineral deposits the g value will slightly increase and at non mineral uh, there where there is no mineral deposits the g value slightly decreases so this is about the variation of g according to different conditions and uh, altitude latitude depth shape of the earth and local conditions thank you